hi guys welcome to tutorial race and in this video I'm going to discuss about web template studio good news for angular react and Vue.js developer today it's 22nd August 2019 and I'm recording this video and yesterday only that means 21st August only software giant Microsoft released a new Visual Studio code extension which can make the developers life really very easy and its name is web template studio which provides an easy wizard to create a web application with backend as well as frontend that means you can develop full stack applications using this visual studio code plugin so if you are an angular reactor Vue.js developer then this plugin will be really very helpful because rather than writing a long code rather than writing a large code you can simply click and with click you can create the template and which automatically create the backend as well as the frontend so if you want to develop a complete full stack application then this plugin is really very helpful and I myself a mean stack modern stack and modern stack developer I experimented this and really it's very cool and very good now you can develop full stack website using just few clicks as I mentioned before top of all it's free which can be downloaded and installed with Visual Studio code the plugin has built-in template which can choose and just with few clicks you can create full stack website if you are an angular developer react js developer or vue.js developer then you must have used visual studio code because visual studio code is a really very popular ide for developing javascript framework based applications this is also my favorite for writing min stack modern stack as well as modern stack code the important thing about this visual studio code is its intelligence so if you don't know what intelligence is all about then you when typing the code you might have noticed that the right side it provides hint so just rather than writing the whole code simply you can select and press enter and then you can see the code is written so it really saves time so apart from intelligence as well as several plugins which can be downloaded and installed for free so this is the main feature of Visual Studio code so here are some of the features of web template studio plugin the first one is frameworks the second which create pages and the third one is cloud service support so let's see one by one frameworks it asks the developer which framework he wants to use for front-end and which one for backend development currently only three front-end frameworks are supported which I will sh uh, show you in a later video so for front-end angular react.js and Vue.js is supported and for backend they provide node.js and flask so as you know that node.js is really very popular uh, you know server-side javascript engine which is used for backend and server-side uh, you know for programming and flask is a framework of uh, python which is used for backend development so these two backend uh, platform or languages is supported in this framework so apart from that it also provides a dependency checker through which it's checked whether you check whether you have a required version of node.js and python installed if the requirement doesn't meet it prompts you to install the current version of and proceed the second feature of this web template studio is create pages this is important where your time is saved to make the development process easier it provides page templates which can be used for common UI pages and presently the page templates are blank page master page grid page as well as list page so four types of pages it, it provides currently which you can select each per your requirement while I was testing it was displaying the currently you can select up to 20 page templates once you select the template you can provide a custom name to those templates as well the third one is cloud 
service support. Apart from that, you can also mention which Azure cloud service you want to use. It also helps to build out the framework for services into your app. Presently, the supported services uh, cover storage, Azure Cosmos DB, and hosting Azure app services. So once you develop your application, it provides support to host your application as well at, clo at Azure Cloud Server. After making selections, you can extend the generated code. Now I will show you that how you can install this plugin. But before installing the plugin, make sure that you have installed the latest version of the Visual Studio Code. If not, you can download and install from here, the below uh, the hyperlink given. To install this plugin, first of all, open the, this website marketplace.visualstudio.com. This one marketplace.visualstudio.com and then into its search type here web template studio type here web template studio and click the search button here you will see this web template studio and now click on install And then click on Open Visual Studio Code. Here it will show you to install. Since I have already installed, that is why it is displaying disable and install. If you have not installed for the first time, then here, here it will display you a green button saying install but since I've already installed that is why it is displaying here disable or install so once you you have installed this plugin then it will display something like this now that you have installed this plugin so how to use this plugin now so to use this plugin press control shift P control shift P So once you click Control Shift P, then this widget will, dis will display you. So remember Control Shift P, C Control plus Shift plus P key you press to open this widget into Visual Studio Code. Control Shift P. Okay. So once you I uh, have installed then you select this web template studio launch so click on this and then it will start the template wizard so just wait it is connecting and launching this application okay so this is the wizard which has just been launched here you can provide your app name so in this case I am providing here demo app and then here you can select your directory where you want to you want to install this one so I'd like to install here in my directory in row 7 then Azure so rather than this demo app okay so in this folder I would like to install this so I'm selecting this Azure folder so inside this this demo app will be installed here now click next and here you can select either of the three front-end framework so currently this plugin is supporting only three frameworks which is very popular the first one is React JS, the second one is Angular, and the third one is Vue.js. So, depending upon your requirement, you can select any of these. For the time being, I am selecting Angular. When you click on this, then it will prompt you here whether 
your current version of node is supporting or not for the first time when I clicked this one it prompted me also so I installed the latest version of Node.js and now it is fine so this either of the three you can select here after that you scroll down here and you can see either you can select this node express or plus for node express it is showing here that the current the version it is supported is 10.1.10.15.0 so and in the plus the latest version the minimum version which is required is 1.0.3 so here I'm selecting this node express so in the front end I selected angular and in the back end I selected express now click next here it is providing three types of actually four types of template pages which it already created here so this one is the blank and the grid and then list and then master details so first I will click on this one master details so I'd like to name it as I'd like to name it as home page home and the second one I'd like to uh, just add here a page like delete this one page here say about us and the third page which I'd like to uh, add here is service so rather than grid it will say service after that I'd like to install one more page here employee I'll rename it to plot E and then at last I like to add this page also a blank page called contactors contact us contact simply now we have selected here added here uh, one two three four five types of pages now let's click on next and here it asks you for to sign in to connect with the Azure cloud and at cloud switching you publish your project to the web app service and here you can also see Cosmos DB for the time being if you don't need that then locally you can install and test your application so I'm skipping this Azure uh, facility which uh, this plugin has provided and for the timing after skipping I'm proceeding ahead so now create the project click on create project so now it is creating the project okay the project is complete so now you can uh, click on this open project now the project is complete and you can see here this one is SRC folder where you can see this app as well as here you can see app cell where these pages or components automatically got created as well as HTML and its routing and all the related files has been created here so if you click on this blank component then there is uh, not much here in about page and uh, in contact and employee as well as so this one is your home page master page and here you can see mm. 
this one is the HTML page so as you can see it has created this front-end section and not only that it has also created the server or backend here the server here you can see it is a routes app.js and and constant.js and server.js so rather than creating manually it has really helped a lot to the developers it automatically create the backend as well as frontend so using this plugin you can develop a full stack application so no doubt really this is very good so once you have uh, uh, you know install this then of course you would like to run this application to run this uh, let's open terminal here and then try to open here ng serve so after writing this ng serve if you get this error then there is simple solution simply write here npm update and then press enter okay so once this is updated now if you type here ng serve then it will start okay so now that it is started now let's open here browser and in the browser let's type here localhost 4200 yes yeah, so here you can see a new template a new application has been created so if you click on about it is blank services and employee and then contact so you can see all these pages which you selected while creating this template and related template and routes everything has been generated so as you can see each for your requirement now you can customize and also you can work further so as you can see it really it's very cool because it saves times in developing the applications so hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe so that similar useful video i can provide you later thanks for watching bye bye